All right, thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. All right, this right here is the uh, the Dow Jones ETF. Um, if you take a look at this chart, you'll see that sort of repeating a, a similar pattern as we topped out here on June the 21st with a high of $105.96 a share. Now we're seeing, we're doing the same thing when we topping out at $105.84 a share on July the 27th. So today we're sort of at a crossroads to see what's going to happen. As you can see here, a uh, breakout short uh, signal given here. Continuation signal of an overbought right here. So the market is overbought and um, momentum is starting to, to point down in the Dow. Um, based on yesterday's close, the price action closed down 35 cents, down 0.33% as prices closed lower than they opened with weak bids going into the close. As for market sentiment, we have a pulse scan reading of 43.26. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX, creating an uptrend channel as of three periods ago. And the swing VIX is now above 39. This is where it usually tops. The swing VIX usually forms tops and bottoms before the underlying security because it is a forward looking indicator, a leading indicator, not a lagging indicator. The last signal was an oversold buy 15 periods ago. The swing VIX has just reached its highest value in the last 14 periods. This is bullish. The swing VIX has set a new 14 period high while the securities price has not. This is a bullish divergence. Since the pulse scan leads the market three to five days out, we will wait to see if an upside breakout occurs. Since the last swing VIX signal, the Dow Jones ETF's price has increased 0.79%. And it's ranged from a high of $105.84 a share to a low of $102.92 per share. As for momentum, currently the trend is neutral within the bearish Kumo consolidation cloud. Therefore, we have possible trend reversal with upside bullish breakout risk, is what you're seeing here. We could get some follow through between Thursday and Friday. A close below $102.94 is needed to reestablish the downward trend. However, a close above $105.13 will establish a new upward trend. As for trend strength, there is currently no trend strength reading at this time. Uh, our intraday price projections for Thursday, we have resistance at $105.35 a share and support at $104.88 per share. You may want to consider actually putting in an order right below uh, the low of $104.69 a share to get short and to sell this short. Uh, there is a strong chance that this could pull back rather substantially. So that's an FYI. It's not a system generated signal. That's just an FYI. All right. As for weekly price projections, our weekly resistance is at $104.18 a share, which we are trading above that. And our weekly support is at $100 even and four cents. So we're, we're, we're staying above the weekly support and slightly above the weekly resistance at this time. As for volatility, the ETF closed below the upper band by 18.9%. We have no system generated by our sell signals for Thursday. Remember, take what you can, give nothing back, and be encouraged. Okay, now turning our focus to the S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY. Same setup as the Dow Jones. Um, a, a exact same setup as these markets move in tandem together. Uh, the only difference is, of course, the uh, breakout and breakdown levels. Uh, same thing here. I would look to get short below 110.46. Uh, but here's the uh, the breakouts what we have here 
uh, we need to close below 107, I'm sorry, $109.71 to uh, reestablish a downward trend. And we need to break out above 113.25 to establish a new uptrend. So that's where we stand uh, in, in the S&P 500. It's also uh, a neutral market. The market is not trending at this time. So uh, we're in a consolidated market. So really, you're not going to get any real swing trade signals. The only thing you're going to get is, um, you know, like we have these oversold signals like here. See the, see the red bear? I don't know if you can see that. I'll make it bigger for you. Let's see. Let me come over here. See this is this red bear. That's when the um, the market is overbought and hit and bumping up against resistance and ready to turn. Okay, as you can see, you got a bear here before we actually turn by here. So again, got a bear here. So the market is getting ready, it's setting itself up ready to turn. So I, I would be watching that. Okay, so. Moving on to the NASDAQ 100 QQQQ. Okay. Um, with the uh, the QQQ, NASDAQ 100, slightly different setup. We are overbought, as you can see, the the, uh, the the red teddy bears there. So we're ready to pull back. I look to get short below 45.88. Um, slight difference, though. Um, as far as this is concerned, the QQQ is showing that actually... The uptrend is still intact with prices holding above trend line support currently at $43.02 a share. Okay, Strong possibility we pull back and even crash below that. So we have to watch for cues, no pun intended, in the QQQQ. All right. Uh, as far as uh, price projections, we do have some additional data on the QQQQ. We don't have a system generated by our sell signal, but let me just give you this data. Because actually, the way that the QQQQ has moved the NASDAQ 100 is showing a slightly different chart formation and setup than the Dow and the S&P. So right now, it's showing that it's, it is in an uptrend. It's holding. As long as we can hold above $43.02, we shouldn't have any problem. But the trend strength reading is range bound. Okay, prices have ceased trending and have become consolidated at this time. The market is put in a short-term top, and this means that bulls are liquidating long positions that's taking them some, some profit off the table. So we've got to trade lightly on this one. Monthly price projections show that if the NASDAQ 100 can, can, can sustain and maintain this upward trend, the next 12 to 18 month outlook price target is actually $65.90 a share for this uh, for this ETF. Uh, current long term trend line resistance is at $50.65 and the long term trend line support is currently at $43.02. We're getting scarily close to that. Okay. As for the bull market hyper parabolic circuit breakers, if this market can sustain a bull rally. The next 24 to 36 month bubble phase one price target is $81.15 a share. If the market can really catch fire and hit bubble phase two, which is a 42 to 60 month time frame, we're looking at $96.40 a share. And of course, the ultimate bubble phase three, which very few securities make it there, 72 month outlook is $111.65 per share. All right, so there you have it. Be encouraged. Remember, take what you can, give nothing back.